Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the Infected 9.2 today. Um, today we are going to take off uh, into the wilderness and go get some electrical parts. But starting out, I want to one more time uh, show this uh, trick that I have for putting lights in. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to put these in a more central place. Um, there should be a pole location right here. Uh, you can put it on any one of these four uh, spots, if I can get the fourth one to show. There we go. Uh, I think because the building is a little bit forward on those back foundations that I'm going to put it on that one. And what you do is you put a pole in, just like we have. You see it's not perfectly centered. But the building is also not perfectly centered because it has this effect. I think I might actually put it on the back one um, because it does have this front area. Uh, but that's OK because um, the point is getting the building lit. And uh, that's a little bit closer. And we put it on the back. So after we put in a pole, we're going to go down here to furniture and grab the electric lamp. And we're going to slide it right up this pole as high as we can get it. It has to, the white uh, button there, the pointer, has to actually be uh, on the pole. And so we'll slide it, we'll do it in this direction so it's a little bit more centered. There we go. And then we take out the pole. So we don't have a pole in the middle of the room. Throw that downstairs. <laughs> and just like we've done uh, many times before, um, there is an electrical light. I don't have the ability to power it right now uh, because what we need to do is go and get electrical parts. It is the only thing uh, that we need um, from any towns. Uh, Oops, we got to get rid of all this stuff first. Let's see if the copper will fit. I don't think it will. Uh, oh, it did. Perfect. Just, just fit in there. And the leftover glass, throw the seeds away, uh, put the nails away from all that building yesterday. We need to grab some uh, food. Uh, I just finished uh, yesterday's uh, episode, and so um, water. So we've got everything on us still. All right. Um, let's actually fill up on water. There we go. We will still be able to get vegetables and stuff um, out in the wild because it is still October. All right. Um, we can go to these two towns. Uh, it's quite a jaunt. Um, this town right here that's local to us, I just did it. It only had three electrical parts. I was pretty uh, disappointed in everything that that town had. And uh, so, yeah, we'll just take off and uh, run as far as we can through all of this. Uh, we're probably actually going to cross right at the swamp. Oh, there's a log on the ground. Uh, I happen to love this map, and um, I know that uh, uh, there's been some discussion. I think I've heard uh, Sifner say it, or seen him say it, um, that m this map is going to get bigger. So uh, it's not going to be thrown out and redesigned again. Oh dear, I forgot about this fall. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be thrown away. It's just going to get bigger. I've heard rumors of a desert. And um, I think a desert area would be absolutely freaking awesome and uh, make total sense, make this sun resistance business total sense. Uh, you'll have to make sure that you bring water with you and um, 
I'm just grabbing a little bit here for the road. Um, and uh, so that is the only thing I've heard. I haven't heard anything specific about that point. Um, I haven't heard anything specific about how the story starts, um, how we get to this island in the first place, uh, what the escape plan is, none of that. Um, but it is uh, really, really cool. Uh, I don't have a bridge on this side, and there's no way to climb up over there, so we'll just follow the river. Oops, we need to catch breath. Got tired there. I really got to get on making fruit salad, and I have uh, so many cans, so many more than I need. Um, I have like uh, 25 cans, and we went off the other day, and uh, hi, Mr. Snortles. We went off the other day to make, uh, to get aluminum to make cans with. I still have aluminum left over, and I have more cans than I can store. <clears throat> you can already see the swamp up there. And uh, there is another build site right here in front of the swamp. Uh, usually I just put a camp here, but this time um, I didn't need to do that. Um, I, oops, hit the button twice. I actually just um, came over and got the croc skins that we needed, and that was fine. Woo! <laughs> nice swim on a nice uh, late uh, summer day, early fall day. <laughs> So uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks, uh, watch Stephen Tube one nine six seven um, build quite an amazing camp out here in the swamp, and uh, he had crocodiles and wolves and bears and vambies coming at him constantly, and he managed to build a pretty complex, uh, super nice. Um, uh, building that looks like it fits in the swamp. It's all on stilts. It's really cool. You should check it out. Uh, check out the video of him making it. Uh, there's uh, like something like eight or nine episodes of that. And um, he does a lot of editing for time, um, which I don't do, obviously. I take you with me on these trips, uh, some of them. I probably cross this map every single day between every episode. And uh, let's just get lined up so that we're going the right way. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, he does a lot of editing for time. So um, he was able to get a really complex, um, really cool looking build in. And he built right through the winter into the next spring. I think it took him from like um, July or uh, August all the way to May of the following year. And it looks like it fits there. Like, um, like you would imagine a swamp village to look like up on stilts and different levels and different rooms. And yeah, it's, it's super cool. can. Smack the microphone with the can. All right, here we go. Village number one. Took us nine minutes to get here. And uh, we are seriously looking for nothing but electrical parts. So I am going to uh, turn on my light and absolutely race through uh, these buildings. I don't think I have a camp house at the other build, but it's so close to the lake house. You know, it's like seriously right on top of the lake house. I hope this is respawned. I think it has. That room never has anything in it. And screws. I do this every time. No, I don't need cans. Stop it. Stop picking up cans. <laughs> and I don't need potatoes. I always take the ore. 
I just climbed over the furniture. Don't panic. <laughs> up, up the stairs. I don't need any kind of fuel. That's rope. There's never anything in that bedroom. There used to be. I clearly remember seeing stuff in that bedroom before, uh, but there never is. We'll just go through the front door and out the back door. Boy, I hope there's electrical parts around. Uh, one of the things that I never did in this season was make a Kevlar, a Kevlar vest. Nothing there. Um, so the thing about the Kevlar vest is it does, in fact, uh, wear down. Where's the door? Um, but I don't really see, like, any benefit to it. Um, I don't think I ever noticed any difference, like, um, and especially now, uh, with the way that the Vambies attack now, uh, they sort of attack and they back off, they run away, uh, they hide from you, um, they try to check it out and see what you're doing, um, they also have the ability to transport themselves. Look at that, two pieces of Kevlar together. Um, so they also have that ability, they can just poof. And um, <laughs> they teleport is what they do. I always take mechanical parts. There's some things that you just always pick up. And uh, regardless, oh, I don't think I looked in the kitchen, did I? Yeah, I did. Um, oh, uh, where was I? <laughs> the Vambies. <laughs> so what I think we'll do is, uh, we'll actually try to do a little bit of security. I'm not, uh, hugely worried about security, but we'll do a little bit of security and then we will turn the Vambies on because I've never turned them on while filming. Because I'm always building, and ah, uh, it's irritating to have to stop uh, every 10 seconds. Oh, I don't have much of that. Um, that's not the door. There it is. And uh, fight off the uh, the Vambies. And now especially because now they don't just come at you and the fight is over with. Uh, now you got to chase them down. And, uh, yeah, I don't need those fragments. I have a fragment-making machine. <laughs> um, so it, it takes an extra amount of time to fight them. Um, I've done one horde night, and it was uh, the first one uh, where there's only, I think there's only four or five families. It's not a big deal. Um... But I don't like the way that it dictates that you can't, like, fall asleep or anything. Um, I think, if anything, you would fall asleep, like, from exhaustion at some point. If you're exhausted and tired when the Vambies attack, it's going to take a lot, you know, to stay awake. We should probably have to have um, some kind of caffeine or coffee or something uh, to keep us going. But I say we needed four, that's three. We need four for each one of the concrete mixers. And if I don't get enough, I'll just make some more. Um, I'll have to go home to do that because I don't have enough cobalt. Um, I think I have like eight cobalt. Uh, it's not cooked, I just brought it uh, there's one thing that you need cobalt for. I can't off the top of my head remember what it is right now, but it's early, uh, fairly early on. 
That is a deer. But it's been a little while since I fought Bambies. And uh, the last time actually was um, not intentional. Uh, when 9.0 dropped, I believe it was 9.0. When 9.0 dropped, uh, the dev accidentally uh, changed something that um, turned the Vambies on no matter what your in-game settings were. So be aware that's a possibility. At any rate, I didn't know uh, that he had done that. And I went off uh, to go to town to get supplies. And uh, I heard this scream and almost jumped out of my skin, I swear. It scared the daylights out of me. And uh, <laughs> it was pretty shocking. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. So, yeah, it was pretty shocking. Here's one. One in there? No. Never one in there. All right, we are almost through the first town. Uh, oh, I just went backwards. So we got four, uh, four from this town. I'd like to get more. Oh, is that lead? I'll take that in lieu of, oh, five, awesome. I'll take lead in lieu of having to uh, go into a cave. Our local cave is what everyone calls the green cave. And uh, it's awful. <laughs> like, you can get uh, you get everything you need, but there's a lot more standing around and waiting. Nothing on the washer? Did I already come up here? No. Uh, potato paste. All right, let's get a move on. Door. Door. <laughs> let's quickly go around and make sure that I got this. Because I think I got that, but I think I might have missed a house. Uh, probably the one in the middle. There we go. <laughs> Need that. And uh, also, once again, uh, as always, uh, everything does not have to be picked up and thrown down. Um, it will. Uh, there's the door. Where's the door? It will uh, despawn and respawn, um, regardless if you pick the stuff up. So we need to go actually to the left here. Yep, we're thirsty. So let's take care of that. All right. Protein is what I always run out of, and that's a good reason to dr get dried meat going. Dried meat you can carry. You don't have to eat a whole uh, ration pack to take care of that. Little auto save there. Oop, tree. <clears throat> that is quite a jump. And uh, where is the bridge? I think if we go out to the coast, we can get back up. Oh, wait, we can get back up right here. Awesome. I don't think this is even deep water. I like these two towns a lot. They're super close to each other, and it makes it like really, really easy um, to raid two towns in one day. So we're only at 19 minutes, nine minutes to get to the first town, 10 minutes to quickly scan through the first town, and probably 10 minutes to quickly scan uh, through this town. And, uh, so I like that a lot. Uh, some of the distances on the map are horrendous. And um, 
it's like really I was talking about this the other day it's really hard the new location where we're building we're almost done building that by the way but the new location where we're building it's super hard to get anywhere from there and uh, it can be like really frustrating when you're trying to get something done and especially if you're trying to show that work um, it takes so long to get out of there out of that hole <laughs> nothing there I'm gonna have enough potato paste for a lifetime I should definitely take the screws anytime I can save on copper I'll do it even though I have a copper extractor Am I going the wrong way? I think so. Uh, no, no, it's that way. <laughs> the town is over there. <laughs> this broken glass always trips me up. I always think there's something there. Uh, I stopped carrying a splint because I stopped breaking my leg. <laughs> I don't know if the dev maybe eased off on that, the steepness or whatever that you can fall from, but um, I haven't broken my leg in a long, long time. Six o'clock at night, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to have to go to the lake house, which is fine with me. We have a bed there. I actually like the cabin. Uh, that I built more than I like the actual glass house that I built. Uh-oh. We got a storm coming in. Here we go. Um, oh, it's a feather. I thought it was nails or screws. I was like, give me that. I will take that. Please. <laughs> And the bathroom has bark chips in it. We don't quite have all of these furniture assets yet. I have a feeling that we will eventually have them all. Uh, but we don't yet. Just seeds on that table. Nothing in the bathroom. Never anything in this kitchen, but always worth taking a look. Because you never know when that might change. How's our weight? Actually, we're not carrying any weight at all yet. Wow. Oh, that was only two. I thought it was a whole pile of nails. <laughs> I got all excited. There was nothing there. <laughs> uh, seeds over there on that table. A little bit of tallow on the chair. Glass on the, on the couch table sofa table whatever you call it where you come from all right onward oh yummy some more energy i will take it uh yeah rain <laughs> soaking wet potato paste <laughs> how much have i picked up six of them <laughs> i think they stacked like 25 or something something super ridiculous like that like if you're getting sunburnt that much you need to reconsider your life choices <laughs> baked potato we're not quite hungry there's plenty of food at the lake house the way that I set up the uh, camp for the lake house with that uh, greenhouse on the back of it. I think that's what I like about it the most. You can look out the window and right into the greenhouse. I thought that was a really neat thing. And I might do something more complex with that later on. Like, uh, I don't know what kind of building we're gonna be doing for version 10. I don't know what all is gonna be in version 10. So, um, I'm thinking, you know, story elements means that probably we will be concentrating on that 
at least at first and uh, then uh, and then we'll have time to build uh, I also don't want to delete this save and I'm not going to um, because it's like super uh, special I mean I got really really industrious with this one I got a lot done already and we still have one more um, I got lost inside the house there we go we still have one more place to go where I've started um, I started a camp house it's really just a uh, foundation with a bed on it but it is right on the edge of the southwesternmost village can I come in here? Thanks. <laughs> That's a brick. Another brick in the wall. I did pick up one brick. Uh, for those of you that are uh, watching all the time, you'll know that I had one stack of bricks that only had nine bricks in it. <laughs> uh, so the other day when I went to the village right next to our new build, I picked up one brick... <laughs> and made that stack whole. <laughs> Nothing in this house. Except for spoiled food and garbage. Aha! How many do we have? Uh, seven. We need one more at least. So one more to make um, two cement mixers. I had in my mind more like four cement mixers, but just because I don't want to spend um, a tremendous amount of time uh, in between videos making cement. It doesn't take very long to make cement, but you have to stand there, you know, you have to you have to babysit it. Oh, is the storm over already? Uh, whoa! What happened there? Uh, you know what? I think my game crashed. That'll be the very first time it's ever done it, if it did. Let me just check if I can get out of it. I cannot. I don't know if I'm still recording. I guess I am.